It's the Care Bears meets The Shining. It's Naughty Bear. It's a birthday cake. It looks like they're going to have a magnificent birthday party for Daddles. And look at all those presents. Did you make that for Daddles? Oh, you're such a thoughtful bear. What a shame you didn't get invited. Uh-oh. You don't want to upset Naughty Bear. Annihilation! Told you, bad things happen because you score wicked points for being naughty in Naughty Bear for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. This is the Xbox 360 version, and this is the funniest game I've seen in a long time. Intentionally funny, and each weapon in the game has a different kill move. So taking out all of these bears frankly never gets old. Sticky incineration! Now keep an eye on the top left corner of the screen and pay attention to how I'm being scored in this game. Because in addition to the variety of awesome ways that you can slaughter cute stuffed bears, the real highlight in Naughty Bear is how you're scored. Not just for killing and breaking things, but for also scaring bears. If they hear another bear being killed in the distance, you get points. If you catch them in a trap, you get points. If you smash things, you get points. If they watch you kill another bear, you get points. And there's a score multiplier, so the more bad things you do quickly, the more points you earn. Which makes Naughty Bear a decadent blast to play because you're rewarded for sheer chaos and carnage. Naughty Bear can be played as a casual, fun, humorous game, or it can be taken seriously and played as a real challenge. Because unlocking all of the levels and all of the different Naughty Bear costumes in the game is quite difficult. This game puts up a surprising challenge once you get into it. Now, it's somewhat complicated by the fact that the controls are nowhere near as good as the humor in Naughty Bear. The camera perspective in particular is constantly frustrating. And the whole game feels like it could have used some more refinement. However, it, that can be overlooked because when you can do stuff like this, you can cut Naughty Bear some slack. Oh, I see. You found a mythical uni bear. They are marvelous, aren't they? I think this game would make a great present because it's so immediately funny. If you hand this to your friend, they'll smile. Even the title is funny. The picture on the packaging is funny. You can play Naughty Bear at a party, and whether it's guys or girls, whether they're into racing games, shooters, Japanese role-playing games, everybody will get a laugh at Naughty Bear, unless they have absolutely no sense of humor or are complete game snobs, in which case you don't want to be friends with them anyway. Well, the controls aren't as good as Metal Gear Solid 4, and graphically it doesn't look like real life. Also, I didn't see what Naughty Bear's motivation was. <laughs> Aren't I smart? No. Dude, it's Naughty Bear. Shut up. The game is really compartmentalized, and there's a variety of missions. Some of them are straightforward. You just kill everything. Those are my favorites. Others are far more challenging. Sometimes you are not allowed to hit other bears while still having to rack up insane points. So you have to rely on stealth or capturing them in traps as well as smashing everything in sight. As you play through the game, the enemies become more challenging. There's ninja bears and army bears. The bears will barricade themselves into buildings and call for support, so it'll be like Grand Theft Auto and you'll hear helicopters swooping in from the background. In some missions, you have to rack up points in a certain amount of time, so the game definitely mixes it up in terms of challenging you with different levels, even though they basically all look the same. Assassination! How did this game get a teen rating? <laughs> it has such a dark, morbid sense of humor that when played with these bright cartoon bears with names like Daddles and Cuddles, that it j you just can't help but like Naughty Bear. You did it!
And while it's probably obvious, I have to compliment the designers on the music. The off-key kids music is terrific and totally fits the game. And the narrator, whoever does the voice acting in this game, deserves an award. Team Duck, I'm afraid that those bad fluffy bird cams seem to want to spy on you. How dreadful. Really, how rude it is to spy on people. Perhaps you should try and shut down as many of those fluffy bird cams as you can. In order to play new levels, you need to unlock them by earning points and trophies on existing levels, which frequently can be harder than it sounds. I found that repeat gameplay was necessary to figure out the best path to smash, kill, slaughter, and destroy. Because obviously, in addition to completing the level, you need to keep your score multiplier up. You fail. And it takes a while, but eventually you learn to chain horrible events together, like capturing a bear and then scaring them until they kill themselves. Unfathomable <laughs> 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 In conclusion, you know, Naughty Bear leaves a lot of room for improvement, but I can see this series having a long life ahead of it, because it's so thoroughly enjoyable. But they need to fix the camera controls, because particularly when you're fighting indoors, you can lose track of where Naughty Bear is, or who you're fighting. I'd like to see some more diversity in the level design, but, uh, you know, for a first outing, Naughty Bear makes an impression. This even has multiplayer. I'm already looking forward to Naughty Bear 2, and I hope they call it the Careless Bears vs. Die Little Pony. <laughs>